Hello everyone, and welcome to our Horizon Zero Dawn Let's Play. Today we embark upon our adventure with Cauldron Sigma. What happened to you, Hunter? Are you alright? Oh, I'm grateful for this wound. It's a lesson I won't forget. And you should heed it too. How's that? I was chasing a galloping grazer, so intent on my prey that I didn't see where I was going. Right to the threshold of a cauldron. A cauldron? What's that? Ah, you're from inside the Embrace, so you've never seen one. A cauldron is a sort of door, I guess. No one knows what lies beyond. Some say machines are made inside. Others think they're dens of evil, where the spirits of the metal devils linger. Same thing, I suppose. Whatever they are, they're forbidden. You mentioned a lesson before. What did that wound teach you? As I stood before the cauldron, my prey scampered off and I stared, dumb with wonder. For a moment, I was a child again, wrapped from stories told by hunters at the campfire. I had a powerful desire to see what was inside. That's when the Watcher attacked. Cauldrons are guarded, you see. I barely fought it off and got the scrape as a reminder. There's a reason the Matriarchs forbid those places, and not just because they're dangerous. We weren't meant to see what's inside. I'll never waver again. This scar will see to that. But for a moment you felt something. A sense of discovery. Are you so sure that's a bad thing? Has to be, right? Or I wouldn't have been punished. Where can I find this cauldron? My point is, you shouldn't. Then describe the place I should avoid. You're a clever one, but not so clever as to heed my warning, I see. Fine, you're grown. I can't stop you. It's dead north of here, past the red drifts, built into the side of a mountain. Just remember, I told you to stay away. This must be the cauldron Drow was talking about. There's gotta be a way in, somehow. Well, it does look like we do have quite a challenge here. Now, obviously we could go loud, but if we don't have to, that would be marvelous. But I'm not really seeing an easy way to get into this particular area. Um, I'm actually going to try to do this as stealthy as possible, but if we have to go loud, then obviously we'll break out the bow and start whacking these guys away, though. Now, we might have just a moment here, if I can get behind this rock before this guy turns around. That's actually going to work out really well for us. Unfortunately, we do have a gentleman that's actually hanging out by the front. It does create some new challenges that otherwise would be great if he wasn't there, but beggars can't be choosers at the end of the day. Alright, so we do have this guy that's actually... Kind of coming over to us. I'm hoping that he'll decide that there's nothing behind these rocks, but I don't think our luck's going to be that great, though. Quite a door, but how to open it? place is part of some huge machine but who made it obviously we have a lot of cabling down here obviously this does create some new challenges does make us also wonder the level of technology that's actually going on here i mean we are seeing unparalleled amount of evolution though 
That thing looks like a triangular pipe. What's it for? Alright, so it looks like he might have actually been guarding this corridor. That does make me a little wary, considering that if he's down here, how many other individuals are actually down here lurking about? Those things are moving components around. I wonder where. Alright, so we got rid of one of them. Unfortunately, don't really have a great line of sight on this guy, but if I shoot him in the back of the head, he should turn around, which... Obviously, we were able to take care of him. Now, in the meantime, we do see a lot of technology, more machines making machines, all kinds of fun stuff, which is kind of terrifying for us, considering that in the past, they tend to kind of attack us, you know, really try to hurt us and stuff like that. Not a big fan of that, but, you know, I guess we'll have to take every small victory that we can at the moment. Now, I'm going to venture all the way over here and see if we have another passage. It does look like there is another way to get back into this area. Obviously, don't really know what we're going to be running into up ahead. Trying to take things nice and slow. Looks like we do have a ladder over here, so I'm going to take advantage of that. And we'll climb all the way to the tippy top. thing near the gap. What does it do? Alright, so now we were able to successfully get into that. Now we're going to continue to move our way forward. Obviously, still lots of obstacles kind of in the way, having to basically circumvent some of this stuff. But we also have potentially some kind of light source, which I find to be interesting, considering that I would venture and say the machines can probably see in the dark. So was this something that was created for humanity and we just kind of lost control? Or are machines just way too intelligent and they even need light when they have night vision? It looks like those flying machines move components around. Might be able to take me somewhere. Might regret this. True. Machines are built in these places. But why? And by whom? That's the heart of it all. It's gotta be. So how do I get inside? Got as far as this thing will take me. Alright, looks like we do have one machine that's come over to say hello. Unfortunately for him, his time has come and gone. I'm actually going to use this so that way we can get over to the other side. And then once we're over here, I should be able to either drop down or do something to kind of get off of this item, though. Alright, so now that we're over on the other side, which is exactly where I wanted to be, now we should be able to do a little bit of looting in the meantime, but we're going to have to be careful considering that 
Obviously, you guys can see, we have several more targets that need to be taken care of, though. Not this time, little one. one of the nice things is, is that when we actually take care of these guys, they don't really know what's going on, so they don't tend to be alerted that their friends are no longer with them. Um, obviously, that's great for us, considering that it allows us not to have to worry too much about them communicating. Obviously, when they lose their own little signal, they don't really have a reason to suspect that anything's going on. Now, of course, it looks like a couple of more of them are going to be on that ground level down there. Obviously, we'll slowly but surely work our way over. We are continuing to get closer to our objective marker. It is obviously taking just a moment. That dude actually moved his head right at the absolute worst time, though. Alright, so we do have one of these guys. I'm going to have to try to take care of him as efficiently as we can. Now, as we can see, looks like another one over there. One over on our left-hand side as well. Obviously, I probably need to worry more about this one, but they are definitely on high alert, though, at the moment. Now, lucky for us, our ability to dodge was impeccable, but we didn't really have to use it in that particular case. We were actually able to just simply just kill them with the bow. I'm quickly finding that the bow is incredibly efficient at taking these guys out. I do really like the range capabilities that we have. I think it actually adds a lot of value there. Now, it looks like we have to get up to that very top part. Obviously, that's not really great, considering that... Not entirely sure how to get up there, but I'm actually going to venture over to this right-hand side and see if there's a potential way to climb all the way up there. Looking like we were actually able to kind of guess correctly, but just a moment, we'll actually be heading right over to this, and I think this might carry us back over to that other area, though. Now, once again, we do have quite a ways to actually walk over there. Now, of course, got to pick up some medical supplies along the way, but we're overall doing pretty good. Luckily, the machines were actually incredibly nice enough to illuminate those for us. I mean, I feel like I probably would have had some difficulties locating them, but obviously the machines were thinking of us, and ultimately, I mean, we have to be incredibly grateful for all of their intelligence. Now, of course, we have finished this other bridge. We're going to continue to move over to our new checkpoint, obviously getting a little bit closer, but still have a little bit more to go, though. Alright, so we do have a few of these that are actually patrolling the area. I'm guessing we're going to have some kind of boss battle, so to speak, in just a moment. I'm actually going to try to see if I can't kill these little guys real quick, but they're actually really moving a little faster than I was hoping. Alright, so we do have actually something over here. Let's climb all the way to the tippy top of this and see if we can't maybe disable this or do something of the sort. Obviously, once this is disabled, I'm guessing that we're actually going to let this machine out. And I don't know if I'm really too excited about that. But, 
obviously every small little victory that we can take i think it's actually going to add a lot of value to us All right, so we do have some machines over here. Obviously, they kind of flanked up behind me, so luckily they really weren't paying too close attention. This thing now has a fire ability. Obviously, need to get away from this as quickly as possible. I think we have located some of the weak points on it, which is great. Uh, we do have another machine over that's actually relatively close to me. Obviously, I need to get some additional range between me and the main machine. Obviously, going to continue to slowly but surely work our way around here. Alright, so let's see if we can't get a bit, little bit more additional range between us, though. Really trying to hit those uh, prime spots, but really not having a, much luck there. Obviously, we're a little bit on fire. Was able to kind of dodge out of that. That could have been incredibly bad for us. It's going to be really important that we stay on top of getting these dodge abilities, though, considering that it's able to kind of lob that additional fire damage. Really not great for us. Information about different machines. This will help me override them. 